the currency within Ethereum is Ether. It's used to pay for computation. We will learn more in the next lectures how the computation within the Ethereum network works. There are different denominations within the Ethereum system. The smallest unit, the base unit, is called Way. There is a small list of denomination which is coming underneath the Ether. In the next lectures we will also learn more about the different denominations and how to convert them. One Ether is one followed by eight in zeros way. You can get Ether in different ways. One way is to become a miner. The other way to get Ether is to trade other currencies for Ether. This can be done in exchange platforms. And a third way is to download the wallet MIST, get an address and use a service like Shapeshift and purchase Ether. Here is a list of exchange marketplaces that trade different currencies for Ether. You don't need to use Wallet Mist. You can also use Checks, Etherwall, or My Ether Wallet, or Cold Storage, or Hardware Wallets, in order to create and store your accounts and your Ether. There are different account types within Ethereum. The one is externally owned accounts, which you can create in your wallet, and you own a private key and a public key and a password for it. The second type of account is contract accounts. These are deployed in the blockchain and contain code. Externally owned accounts or EOAs or simply accounts can have an ether balance. They can send transactions. They are controlled by private keys and they don't have any code associated with it. Contract accounts or simply contracts, they do have an ether balance. They have associated code with it. The code execution is triggered by transactions or messages. And when the code is executed, it performs operations of arbitrary complexity on the blockchain. It can manipulate its own persistent storage and it can have its own permanent state and it can call other contracts. Accounts in Ethereum play a central role, especially the accounts that you have in your wallet and they are controlled with the key files. If you create an account in your wallet, it will create a private key in the public key pair and require a password to unlock the account. Creating an account, creating an account in Ethereum is easy. You also don't have to be on the blockchain or on the internet to create an account. You just create a new key pair and your public key will be the account ID. We will see in later lectures and sections how we can create and manage our accounts in different tools in MIST and on the command line. 